weekend. Outdoor recreation, it's a defining element of living in Mesa County and now a trails committee made up of members from different groups and organizations are working to make the outdoors more accessible for everyone. Our Lena Takata reports. Warm weather is finally here and many people are starting to enjoy the perks of living in the outdoor mecca that is Mesa County. Last year it really highlighted the, the value and the importance that trails and outdoor recreation has here in this valley. But mountain bikers are slowing down on parts of some trails for the trail maintenance crew put together by Mesa County Public Health. Thank you. They're working on maintaining trails through the county. I think part of the reason we got the funding for the maintenance crew was because of the massive uptick in, in usership and uh, the need to maintain those trails for the public at large. The crew is focusing on three main trail systems, Cocopelli, North Fruta Desert, and Lunch Loops along with Forest Service lands on the Grand Mesa and Uncompagre National Forest. The idea is you want to keep folks on trail to minimize damage to surrounding resources. The work includes technical rock work, revegetation of social trails, erosion control, tread rehabilitation, and corridor clearing. We plant rocks and uh, move some vegetation from around the surrounding area and kind of just make it look more natural. And it's all made possible by the $114.5,000 grant that was awarded to the Health Department by Colorado Parks and Wildlife Commission. Thanks for your hard work, guys. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Yeah. Having the recreation here available for people to mountain bike or hike, but also keeping this area as pristine and natural as possible is um, what our goals are with an aim to keep Mesa County healthy and happy. Mesa County Public Health also recognizes the importance that trail usage and outdoor recreation has on public health, um, both mentally and physically, economically as well. That was Lena Takata reporting. The Colorado Parks and Wildlife Commission approved funding 20 recreational trail grants this year, including the one Lena just told you about, all of it totaling over $3 million.